your girl Amber and welcome to the roommates. Today I'm having five guys. So roomies, go get your plates, grab your food, and come sit down to eat with me. And while you're at it, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell button so you can get future notifications every time the roommates drop a new video. Enjoy watching y'all. Now let's eat. Hey roomies, how y'all doing today? Today I got a bacon, I got a double bacon burger with everything on it. I got lettuce, pickles, tomatoes, jalapeno peppers, bell peppers, onions, and then I got a large order of fries. So if you're new, welcome, and if you've been here a while, you know it's time for the countdown. So let's get started. Three, two, one, go. That's a good burger. It's spicy and juicy. It's a double burger, but what makes it so big is I put a lot of vegetables on there too. And you know I gotta have my spring water. I'm so rude I forgot to offer you the second bite or the third bite actually check it out you guys look at how good that looks we got all that stuff on there y'all can have a third bite all my vegetables just coming out and I realized I probably should have got uh, I probably should have got grilled bell peppers Your regular bell pepper because you'd be falling out your sandwich. But uh, this is my first time eating a burger at Five Guys. While I was at Five Guys, I took a picture of um, of this poster they had. It was a burger, and it, had, it was a Chicago burger, but it was real big, the way they had it in the picture. It looked like it had to be either, a, it looked like it was like a triple layer burger, but it had all types of vegetables, and it even looked like it had like, I think like onions and fries at the bottom. But I took a picture of it. You, uh, you might see it in the video. But it was, it was a nice picture. And just looking at it make me want to go there. And the people at Five Guys are so polite. I'm thinking like, if they're so nice to customers, I wonder what they'd be like to actually work with. Because <clears throat> I've never actually worked at like a fast food restaurant. I've only worked at like grocery stores. So I'm like curious to see how that would be. I 
I think uh, I think sometime this week I might look into doing like some uh, job application and getting a summer job because uh, around this month, around this month is when they start the peak of summer, when they start their hiring. Because you got your seasonal hiring and then you got uh, and then you got like full time. Although I don't know if they get full time to like new people. I think the only time they get full time is if it's like uh, if you're a manager. I also went to uh, Buffalo Wild Wings, and um, they got this um. They got this one thing going on. They got the blazing hot wings, and it is uh, 12 hot wings in six minutes. And so while I was there, Keisha asked, uh, asked the lady, she's like, or not the lady, the manager. She's like, so are these wings, are they real hot? He's like, oh yeah, they're real hot. So I'm thinking to myself, I can definitely do that challenge because when I was in Houston and I did the Blazing Hot Wing Challenge with uh, Ray Sean, I think it was, um, I think we did seven, from what I remember, I think we did seven hot wings. I think it was seven hot wings in like three or four minutes. But <clears throat> but that challenge was much harder because I had a competitor. Now it's one thing if you're doing it by yourself, but once you got go up against another person who's used to eating hot food. That's when you know. That's when you realize if you met your match. But from what I read on the Blazing Hot Wings bottle, when we uh, when we purchased the bottle, it said that it's ghost pepper sauce, the Blazing Hot sauce. I figured if it's ghost pepper, I could handle it. Because we got ghost pepper sauce in the fridge. And if that's, if that sauce don't bother me, then the blazing hot sauce, I should be able to handle it. There's something different about these fries today. Like I've not I've not had their the burgers until now, but I've had the fries. Hey, usually the fries like Keisha told me that she thought the fries were real salty when we got them at the place. And I'm just like and so I believed her. Now I'm tasting the fries, I'm thinking like, how does she think that this is too salty? And I'm thinking like there's not enough. Like to me, I think that they short. To me, I don't think they put enough salt. To me, it's like it's kind of bland. That's why a lot of times, if my fries are bland, I dry them in ketchup. But you guys, when I was at Buffalo Wild Wings, the staff, let me tell you, my girls were gorgeous. They had some, they had some pretty girls. They had some beautiful, they had some beautiful black girls. They had Spanish girls. They were gorgeous. 
They even had this one girl, she had like black and blue in her hair. I just thought that was real pretty. I don't know why, but I like, but usually the hair is the first thing I notice on, on the girl. Like I'll look at the face, then the hair, and then the body. Like the body is probably just, like the second thing I look at, but I always look to see if they got a pretty face first. Cause that honestly, I think that's the first thing you notice when you look at a person is the face. <clears throat> you know what's so weird is like normally a cup this big of fries normally will fill me up, but today this didn't fill me up. I think it's because they shorted me on the salt. I don't think they put salt on these fries. Because normally when we buy uh, food from, in the past when we bought fries from Five Guys, it's usually they drown the regular fries. It'll be like real salty. Like if we go to the one in Oak Park, the regular fries will be real salty to where you can actually like touch the fries, put it in your hand and they'll be like salt all over your hands. But today, today actually is my first time eating like a burger there, but back when uh, Keishan Jr. first went vegan, like uh, a couple years ago, we, uh, Keish and I, we would still eat like, occasionally we'd eat fast food because we were both on the vegan diet. And that was when I was doing the alkaline diet with them. At the time I was doing it for about three months. And within three months of doing the alkaline diet, I'd shedded. 60 pounds like I went from like I went from 240 down to like down to about 180 I was shocked as to how fast that weight came off but not only were we doing the alkaline diet but we were also going to the gym every day at the time but now doing these videos I've, I've actually I'm not gonna lie I put on a little weight I probably put on about like I put on about 10 pounds at the most because what I do is um, what, what's your I mean if you don't want to gain weight doing these videos what's smart to do is uh, if you know you're gonna do if you know that you're gonna eat a big meal just don't eat nothing the whole day I mean not the whole day but just Stick to eating like one meal a day, and that's if you're doing mukbangs. If you're not doing mukbangs and you skip a day, then just try to eat healthy. Or try to continue to get keep yourself used to eating like one or two times a day. Because then that's how you like maintain your weight or that's how you keep your weight down. Because with me, I always wonder like... I always wonder how I don't put on the weight in these mukbangs. Cause I'll like, I'll have a real full stomach, but then the next day I'll be looking at my stomach in the mirror. I'll be like, how am I able to suck in my stomach this far in? Like, I'm looking at my stomach, I'm like, well, like my stomach looks like I only weigh 160 pounds, but I really weigh like, like 185, and that's because most of my weight, I carry most of my weight in my, in my legs. My legs, hips, and um, and my chest. Well, you guys, I'm all done eating. It didn't fill me up too much, so that's good. Thankfully, they didn't put too much salt on it this time. So I had a lot of fun eating and talking with you guys. I always have fun doing these videos and engaging with you guys. So don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell button so you can get future notifications every time the roommates drop a new video thank you all for watching peace out y'all we love you don't forget to live love and laugh bye y'all